Meet Mr. Smith, a 60-year-old man who has been a smoker for 40 years. He presents to the hospital with complaints of shortness of breath, cough, and wheezing. On physical examination, he is found to have decreased breath sounds, prolonged expiratory phase, and barrel chest. Spirometry shows an FEV1, FVC ratio of less than 70%, indicating airflow obstruction. Based on his symptoms and diagnostic tests, he is diagnosed with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or COPD. COPD is mainly caused by exposure to cigarette smoke, either through smoking or secondhand smoke. Other risk factors include exposure to air pollution, occupational dust and chemicals, and genetic factors. In COPD, the airways and air sacs in the lungs lose their elasticity and become inflamed, leading to obstruction of airflow. The major types of COPD include chronic bronchitis, bronchiectasis and emphysema. Chronic bronchitis is a type of COPD that affects the airways in your lungs, causing them to become inflamed and narrowed. Chronic bronchitis is defined as a productive cough, cough with mucus, that lasts for at least three months per year for two consecutive years. The primary cause of chronic bronchitis is smoking, although exposure to other irritants like air pollution and dust can also contribute to its development. When you inhale these irritants, they damage the cilia in your airways, which are small hair-like structures that help move mucus out of your lungs. This makes it harder for you to breathe and can lead to the production of more mucus, which further narrows your airways. Over time, the inflammation and narrowing of your airways can become permanent, leading to chronic bronchitis. Before learning about the complications of chronic bronchitis let us learn about hypoxic pulmonary vasoconstriction. Hypoxic pulmonary vasoconstriction is a process in which blood vessels in the lungs narrow in response to low levels of oxygen in the surrounding air or in the blood. This response helps to redirect blood flow to areas of the lungs that are better ventilated, thereby optimizing oxygen delivery to the body. Chronic bronchitis can also cause complications like respiratory infections, pulmonary hypertension due to too much of hypoxic pulmonary vasoconstriction, and heart failure. Pulmonary hypertension is a condition where the blood pressure in the pulmonary arteries, the blood vessels that carry blood from the heart to the lungs, is abnormally high. This can occur due to various reasons, such as narrowing or blockage of the pulmonary arteries, or the walls of the arteries becoming thick and stiff. This can lead to reduced blood flow to the lungs. Heart failure is caused since the heart has to pump harder due to pulmonary hypertension and less gas exchange is taking place. Next up is bronchiectasis. Bronchi are the two main tubes that branch off from the trachea, windpipe, and lead to the lungs and ectasis refers to dilation. This is a type of COPD that involves the widening and scarring of your bronchial tubes, which are the tubes that carry air in and out of your lungs. When your bronchial tubes are widened, mucus can accumulate in them, making it difficult for you to breathe. Bronchiectasis can develop as a result of chronic infections, such as those caused by bacteria like Pseudomonas aeruginosa or non-tuberculosis mycobacteria. It can also be caused by genetic factors like cystic fibrosis or immunodeficiency disorders. The scarring and widening of your bronchial tubes can lead to the development of other complications like pneumonia, lung abscesses, and respiratory failure. Finally, let's talk about emphysema. This is a type of COPD that involves the destruction of the alveoli in your lungs, which are the small air sacs where oxygen and carbon dioxide are exchanged. It is defined as the permanent dilation of alveolar wall and enlargement of airspace. Emphysema is caused primarily by smoking, although exposure to air pollution and other irritants can also contribute to its development. When you inhale smoke or other irritants, they cause inflammation in your lungs, which can lead to the destruction of your alveoli. Over time, this destruction makes it harder for you to breathe, and you may experience symptoms like shortness of breath, wheezing, and coughing. Emphysema can also cause complications like respiratory infections, pulmonary hypertension, and heart failure. The symptoms of COPD can vary from person to person and depend on the severity of the disease. The most common symptoms include shortness of breath, cough, wheezing, chest tightness, and fatigue. 
In severe cases, patients may also experience weight loss, respiratory failure, and even death. The diagnosis of COPD is based on a combination of patient history, physical examination, and diagnostic tests. Spirometry is the gold standard for diagnosing COPD, which measures the FEV1, FVC ratio. Other tests, such as chest X-ray and blood gas analysis, may also be done to assess the severity of the disease. The management of COPD involves both non-pharmacological and pharmacological options. Non-pharmacological options include smoking cessation, pulmonary rehabilitation, and oxygen therapy. Pharmacological options include bronchodilators, corticosteroids, and antibiotics. In severe cases, surgical options such as lung volume reduction surgery or lung transplant may be considered. COPD is a chronic and progressive disease that affects millions of people worldwide. The major risk factor for COPD is smoking, and early diagnosis and management can improve outcomes. If you or someone you know is experiencing symptoms of COPD, it's important to seek medical attention promptly. Thank you for watching, and we hope you found this video informative.